Yo, what are you saying, people? My name's Tommy Galbraith, and this is Spin Your Jaw. Well, now I don't know what to call you, so you just told me off for calling you Tommy. So what are you going by these days? Tommy, Thomas, Tom? Prick, more for the TJ? <laughs> Whatever you want to call Where did the J come from? <laughs> Middle name, Joseph. It's, 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 yeah, I did, but I wasn't looking at that. I was looking at the picture. Thomas Joseph. It's like it's just like I knew, you know, innate. See, TJ. TJ, See, right? You, you, we're not going by TJ. No. It's Tommy. I knew. Sorry. I met you as Tommy. I know so you, you as Tommy. You I did. I did. No, no, no. Everyone called me Thomas. Nobody calls you, you Thomas. No, everyone calls me Thomas, and then you changed my name. It's Tommy because it's your name. You're Irish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tommy. That's it. How many Irish Thomases do you meet? None. They're Tommy. I'm the only one. One of a kind. What's your daddy called? Tom. Well, Thomas, but everyone calls him Tom. Tommy. <laughs> oh, Tom. Literally, that's it. It's me Can you turn your phone off? Or, like, yeah. put it on silent? That's so rude. Is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gone. Fun story. When I first met Tommy, every time I'm going to call you Tommy now, I'm going to go, Tommy. Uh, when I first met <coughs> Thomas. Where did you first meet me? Mbox. Yeah. Um, and you... You'd come to train... But you kept saying, I'm not jumping in, though. I'm, I'm not doing a round. I'm not jumping in for sparring. And then, f- like, 14 rounds later, I was like, Tommy, mate, I thought... D- didn't, think, didn't think you'd be doing that. And then you turned pro out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't know. I think yeah. it was, like, this time last year? Yeah, yeah, a year ago. It's the Irish in me, innit? Literally, that's it. Didn't want to turn pro, I'm not going to lie. Done an unlicensed fight. Coach at the time from West Ferret was like, yeah, we'll turn you pro. It's too hard. And I was like, nah, I don't want to do it, don't want to do it. But glad i done it. What, the unlicensed was too hard? No, turning pro. Why? Because you got trained too hard. It's like, yeah, but obviously it's my lifestyle now and that's what I want about. That's all, I'm all about the pro game now. Did you not think it was your lifestyle before? <coughs> yeah, I've been doing it since I'm eight years old. Mm-hmm. So it's like I've done it because I loved it doing it. Like I wasn't saying that I was going to go pro. Like it wasn't in my dream, should I say. I just wanted to do good. Do my amateurs, do the unlicensed, and yeah, but I think the pro game suits me a lot better now. Because I'm right in thinking you come from a fighting family, right? I do. How do you have any of the pros in your family? Actually, no. no. I can't you're, lie. The first, you're the first, the first Thomas pro. who's Tommy. Irish. Tommy. There we go. Thank first you. Tommy. First Tommy, there we go. Yeah, my brother done boxing, <laughs> my dad done it years ago. No, I'm not confused, but help me when you're saying that you come from a fighting family, mm. but you, it was too hard to turn pro, because if that's all you know, yeah, Surely it'd be my, like an easy jump. But my fighting's different to the pro fighting. Mm. My fighting's outside. Yeah. Stop digging yourself off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't do that no more. I don't do that no more. But that was where it all started, mm-hmm. basically, where it come from. Um, used to do football mm-hmm. and boxing at the same. So dad's like, which one do you want to do? Because it was too hard to do both. Mm-hmm. And I was like, boxing. And then I stuck at it ever since. And yeah. What was your amateur career like? I had a really good amateur career. Mm. Boxed for a few good gyms. I've had over 100 amateur fights. Mm. Yeah, never actually won a main title. Won the sm- little fucking titles. Shouldn't you went about the lifestyle, obviously. <laughs> you know what? No, I just love fighting. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd never dedicate myself to training. I just love... I'd get in the ring with a day's notice, and, mm. yeah, I've been all over the world, so that's that's what I like. So, I know you boxed for Repton. Who else did you box for? I never actually had a fight for Repton. No, you just bought the T-shirt. I trained for it. Well, I started off, my career started off at Eltham with Richard mm-hmm. Sawyer. Mm-hmm. That's where I started. I had two fights on him, moved to Dagnum under Ian Chegwidden. Mm-hmm. Spent a long time with Ian, then left Dagnum, went to West Ham. Spent the remainder of my career at West Ham. Done all my f- rest of my fights for them. And then the lockdown came in and there was no fights. So I moved to Repton. I was the only senior in West Ham at the time. Moved to Repton. I was like, yeah, I'll fight when the lockdown's up. And then, yeah, I just didn't end up fighting. Went and done an unlicensed fight. <coughs> Had one unlicensed fight, yeah. And then turned pro after that. I was going to go down the unlicensed route. I think that would have been good for you. My family weren't keen on it. <coughs> the, my dad was very much, it's not very safe, Jordan. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, but then they see you have one fight, knock the bitch out, and then they'd be proud of you, wouldn't they? Showcase your talent and your skills. Was that a circus tavern? My one, no. Mine was in Sittingbourne. They do a lot of unlicensed they circus taverns, isn't yeah. it? Mine was on Billy Rumble's show. I think I, th- I was like, circus tavern. 
Suck is Kevin. Okay, so then you went to West Thurrock and now you're here at Edge Gym. And now I'm at Edge, yeah, and this is where I'm going to stay. How did coming to Edge come about? Because how long are you at West Thurrock for? You turned pro with them. I turned pro with them, And you had your them, first, yeah. first, I had first fight? two fights with them. And it was just after my second fight. Like, <clears throat> when I was there, I didn't know nothing else but that. That was like my pro style. And then we come down here sparring and it was like a whole different atmosphere, a whole different family, like mm -hmm. skill-wise, like... Yeah, coming, I got I got bashed around, so I was like, okay, this is this is what it's about. Good job, you like fighting, then, is it? There you go. I love it. Love getting hit. Don't know why, but yeah. So I was like, okay, kept coming down for sparring, kept coming down, got really close with everyone down here, knew a few of the boys already, and I think yeah, just after my second fight, I didn't perform as good as I wanted to, and as good as I knew I could. So I was like, yeah, it's time to make a change, and then come down here. Will took me on, very grateful for that, and yeah, I'm still here. So they've got a good pro stable here. Do they have any pros at West Thurrock? They do now, Marley Mason. Okay. They've got little Marley there now. That's, that's some pro. They had Frank Arnold, but he's yes, not professional anymore. So. At all? Did he retire? PT in that at the minute. He'll probably have make a comeback, though. Okay, I hope so. Because yeah. I remember, because you left shortly after that fight, didn't yeah. you? Like, if anybody's watched it, it was a Frank Warren card. Um, yes, it was. His gum shield came out a few times. I was screaming ringside at the ref because he was getting some heavy heavy shots yeah. and his gum shield was the other side of the ring on the yeah. floor and he hadn't noticed um there was a lot of people crying in the audience that yeah, night like that was horrendous that. It was, it was um, so it'd be nice to see him make a comeback yeah, but i just i just i put I correlate the two because we spoke about it and you're like oh yeah i've left the gym and i was like yeah. oh yeah okay he was meant to have a comeback fight after that with jeff afori from mm -hmm. rj's Another hard the, fight, though. I don't think... Southern area, and that was... Yeah. He jumped straight into that for a hard fight. <coughs> lost my voice out of that. But You're getting emotional. It's yeah, all right. He's crying in a minute. But, yeah, I, I don't I know what happened. Now he's doing his PT and he's got a girlfriend, so... Yeah, I think... Good I think coming into <laughs> a title fight, it's maybe after not the best move when... Uh, especially after a loss like that. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and I, d I don't know him personally, but I would assume that you want to build up your confidence yeah. a little bit more like feel your flow a little bit he doesn't need to rush it does he he's, he's young isn't he yeah and he's a talent he is a good mm -hmm. talent when he puts his mind to it and trains good mm. he's a good kid um back to the edge gym sorry frankie <laughs> See, i'm giving him a nickname now as well frankie, frankie, frankie yeah. <laughs> um so you train here with ahara davis um harley ben anybody else Jordan Perkis, Jordan Perkis, Tom Welland. Look, there's so many up here. Honestly, there's so mm. we're such a close little family up here. There's so many mm -hmm. good boys and girls up here. Got Sadem Amma. Yeah, it's, look, honestly, it's good down there. Really good. And how's pro life treating you so far? <sighs> yeah, pro life is good. When I'm when I'm in camp, it's good. Mm -hmm. When I'm in camp, like, cause I'll I will dedicate it. I'll I don't work. It's full time boxing, so that's that's what I like about it. It's proper dedication. Like, makes me eat healthy. Train good, train hard, train twice a day. Yeah. But when you're not in camp? We don't want to talk about that. It go out the window? Of course it does. That's not good, Tommy. It's, it's not, not good. It is. It is. It's it is. Not. You've got to enjoy yourself. I agree, but do you not think you need to live, eat and breathe it? I do, but I still have my phone. Like okay. it's. Look at my weight, for instance. Mm -hmm. I'm always on weight. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm on weight now. I'm not fighting until December. Ryan Maycock, let's get ready. Yeah, but I'm not fighting and I'm already I'll get weight. to him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm already on weight, so like the weight's not a problem. I can eat what I want. Even when I'm training I do eat whatever the hell I want. Like mm. I can have Chinese kebabs, pizzas and it don't affect me. That, that's how good it is. So it's because you're young and one day, because this is what happens and I'm a lot older than you. <laughs> how are you a lot older than me? Because um, I feel it. You're three months older than me. Am I? Yeah. Well, as somebody who's your elder, yeah. there is a time where you can't carry on doing that. It's not, well, it doesn't suffice, do you know what I mean? Well, when that time comes, then I'll realise. Okay. <laughs> God's sake. Um, what is the beef between you guys? Me and Brian. Yeah. I've seen a lot of... To be fair, I've not seen anything his side. It's all been your side. Oh no, he's done it as well. He's he started it. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's, uh, there's beef. There's beef. He's he beat one of the boys that was down the gym. He called me out at the weigh-in, and yeah, so I'm like, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get it on. And that's why I called him out after my last fight. We'll, we'll get it on. It's, you know what? He's actually a nice lad. He's yeah. actually a nice lad. I do like him. I actually speak to him. I was speaking to him last night. 
Yeah, he's a good lad, but I am going to end his career. That's one thing I just don't don't get about Robson because every everybody is most people are friends or like friendly and they'll come spar together. Like I know plenty of people who before fights, you know, the camp before they were sparring each other and now they're fighting each other, yeah. and things can turn sour so quickly. Yeah. And I feel that that's that's how it's going to go because you like to talk. I don't. I like to act. I like to perform in the ring. Okay. No, I do like to talk. No, I <laughs> <laughs> you know I like to talk. Yeah, come on. I know you too well. <laughs> so does Ryan though. Ryan loves it, and it's all it's all part of the game in it. Like I, f- I think that's what it is. But obviously, a little bit of it's personal. Like mm-hmm. when we get in there, we are going to go to war. Like we are going to try and hurt each other. Mm-hmm. It's the name of the game. But look, we'll have a beer afterwards, yeah. and we'll just we'll show love. We'll show what respect. Called? Sportsmanship. Sportsmanship. That's the yeah. one. Right? Yeah. What was your um, first ring walk song? Country roads. Was it? Have you kept the same? I have, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you fight. You haven't. Not in person. Not in person. Not You've in seen per- me spar. Do you remember that lad that was kicking off in the spa? I do. I was a bit like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was offering people out. And I like. was just nice and relaxed watching it, waiting for it to happen. <laughs> I don't even remember like what happened. Give it away. I don't it know where just, they are either so these quick. days. It was just so quick. It happens, it got dealt with. They sparred it out. Um, are you going to come watch my next fight? What date is it? December the 2nd. I'll see. Maybe. Is it against Ryan? That'd be a good fight. <coughs> you get me working on that card and I'll come. Johnny, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Iron me, please, I'm poor. <laughs> ah, you got to come to that one. That'll be a good mm. fight. Fight of the night, guaranteed. Mm. Best fight I've ever... Um, it will be the best fight I've mm. ever been in. So you've... I say recently. How old's your daughter now? Eight, eight months, months just gone. Is it? yeah how has your life changed since having her and the, your mentality <laughs> changed a lot honestly a lot all i've ever wanted since i was young was have my own little kid boy or girl that didn't bother me just what i wanted and as you can see there she is I'm that around. is huge yeah i've got my little girl she's always with me got a few problems as you know who doesn't Exactly, but not who doesn't know, like, yeah, who doesn't have everyone, problems? Everyone fucking knows, so I shouldn't be swearing. But is what it is, and I'll get to see her when the time's right. But she's a big inspiration. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'll get my name up there, I'll, I'll win a world title for that little girl. I really will. I'll start with the southern area, though. Yeah, do you want her to fight when she's older? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I know a lot of parents, like, <coughs> well, a lot, especially a lot of boxing parents, don't want their children anywhere near boxing. A lot of people's like that, but it's self-discipline. And it's like, if someone tries to start with her, she can defend herself. Mm. I ain't gonna let her be a bully, mm-hmm. but she's gonna know how to defend herself. And it's like, yeah, instead of picking up a brick and hitting someone with it, mm. shoot your hands. Do you think that's like a part of your culture though that you want her to fight? Yes and no, because with Irish travelers and things like that, not a lot of the girls box. Yeah. It's only very rarely that they do. Like, they don't, they're not about that life. But yeah, I want my little girl to box. I think it'd be really cool. Dad and daughter, you know. Huh? Dad and daughter boxing, it'd be good. I, might, oh, I was going to say, imagine if you're on the same card, but you'll be long retired. No, I won't. Yes, you will. I'm never going to retire. I'm what never do you mean? Retire. I love getting hit. I love getting hit. I love fighting. Like, I'm not going to retire. All right, glove me up. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I never wear a head guard. That's one thing about me. You know that. Mm. I never wear a head guard. What's the reason behind that? Strengthens my chin. I've got a really good chin. Yeah. And I just can't wear them. They get me fucking nervous. Fuck about like you're, you're sparring, you get hit with a shot and you're like moving it back around. Mm. I'm like, no, 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 just hit me, give me a black mm. eye. Girls love a black eye, it's good. I'm not sure they do. Oh, they do, they do. I don't know what kind of girls you're hanging around with. <laughs> the but wrong ones, um, obviously. Actually, obviously, <laughs> God. I don't know how to move on from that. How was your drive down here? <laughs> took me two hours. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to talk about was you growing up <coughs> as an Irish traveller and the differences between... So from the Irish travellers I'm friends with and the people I surround myself with, say you have a five-year-old little boy and you have one who's an Irish traveller, one who's a country person, very, very different. And I find that in a lot of travelling communities, you are a lot older than you are at a very young age. Yeah, definitely are. I think it's just how you're brought up, though. It's like you ain't going to be brought up childish. You're brought up at a young age to learn how to fight, earn your money and respect mm-hmm. women and that's what it is like you learn you learn the difference like a lot of travellers don't finish school they leave school early because they want to go and chase a pound note did you um, finish school no I left in year nine that's I quite old school. though yeah 
How old, yeah. how old would I have been? 13, 14, something like that? In your nine? I think so. 14? 14, I think it was 14. Was it the start of your nine? Or the end? Middle. <coughs> yeah, 14. Yes. But, yeah, a lot of people, they just... I don't know, they adapt quicker, Irish travellers. That's my belief in it, and that's what I see. Like mm. like you say, as a five-year-old boy in an Irish traveller to an English person, mm. like the Irish the traveller boy would be a lot more... Oh, I don't know, I know, I know the word. They're just but, older, they're yeah, just yeah. more um, life experience, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. What did you do when you finished school? Straight to work. Doing? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Do, doing what? <laughs> so you can't say that on camera. No, I'm joking. I went, I started doing building work, mm-hmm. yeah, property maintenance. Yeah, a lot, I got a little job with a fucking housing asso- mm-hmm. association. Mm-hmm. And I still got that job now, but obviously boxing is what I do. Mm-hmm. That's my life. Done. So, yeah, I was going to say, if you're able to stop working when you mm-hmm. go into camp, yeah. you're all right. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. When I know I've got a fight there, 12 week camp and then I'll stop work I won't work all of that then after the fight I'll have two weeks to myself and then I'll go back to work before I get another fight that mm-hmm. gotta bring the money in somehow because at the minute the boxing is, is, is I'm not up there yet am I it's a slow start but it's always kind of that way um, after Ryan what's the next steps for you Southern area yeah Southern area all who day. would you like that against whoever's got the belt because yeah. it's coming home with me I know Jack Martin's got it now, and that'll be a hard fight, but... That'd be a cracking fight, actually. It'd be a really good fight, wouldn't it? Because my style and his style, it's just, it makes a perfect well, fight. Jack Martin, I think when you look at his record, it doesn't actually do him justice, because no, he... How many has he lost? Two? <coughs> Two. Two? Two, yeah. um, He has never been in a boring fight. Every fight I watch of him, I'm always on like, yeah. the edge of my... I'm sweating, and like, even when he was fighting Jordan... Yeah. Oh, we were shouting. He had, uh, yeah, we were shouting he, he a lot. He brings a crowd as well. He brings a crowd yeah. from Southminster. It's a good crowd. He has an absolute engine yeah. on him, which is what I'll say. Like, yeah. he, you can see that he's physically tired. I think that was one part of it. Um, he spat his gum shield out, yeah. but he didn't stop. No, and that's what I say. With Jack Martin, he, he hasn't got a boxing ability, like boxing skill, but he's got the fitness, the heart, and the determination to just keep going and he don't stop. He can whack, though. He can whack. I don't know. Um... Have you watched his oh, both his fights him. with Jamie Robinson? Yeah, yeah. I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah. I did, I did see that. So I don't agree with you when you say he don't doesn't have boxing ability. I say skill wise, like mm-hmm. he's he just goes forward too much. Like, it's it's like me. Too mu- yeah, he's a bit <laughs> like you. I don't say it too much. It's, that's how he boxes and it's, it works for him. Mm-hmm. It won't work for everyone, but it works for him and he's good at what he does. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, I think my style and his style would be a really interesting fight. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, it's been a pleasure. It's been nice to catch up, actually. It has. It's been really nice. It's been nice to see you. Nice to have a conversation Thanks with you. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>